across an odd series of transmissions coming out of this region. And we've narrowed it down to a hidden alien communications relay transmitting to the Advent Network. We can't pass up any opportunities to disrupt their progress on the latest operation. So we're moving in to take out that relay. Neutralize any hostile contacts near the site. Lock it down and destroy the target. Greetings and welcome back to more covert infiltration axe control. Um it's a tunnels map. Yeah, I sure I saw that. I saw it. I knew that. That's intended. <clears throat> It's not even real tunnels. It's whatever this is. The communications relay is up ahead. Move in and destroy the target. Like pseudo Viper King there, but not actually. But yeah, kind of is. So any is of course in the back and can't can't move past. Well, actually we could do. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Just do this. Up here. Yeah, it's it's kind of against my usual uh, use to grappling hook in combat to get to a better position, but this way. Let's get to a better position for combats. I mean, if there's going to be any combat, like it looks like there's no enemies here. What was happening? Sounds like a good plan. Let's get it done. Go! Just like the astral winds. Do it. There's a lot of movement without spotting anything. Oh, yeah. We've got sectoids. I forgot. Oh, I didn't forget. It's it's right there. It's written right there. How could you forget that? But we can uh, totally oh, this is you're not gonna have a good time, sectoids. Alright, um Who's who's behind you? Absolutely nobody. We can have a warlock showing up again here. So close to the objective. I can't believe there are no this more way. enemies. Over there. Okay, okay, okay. We have three groups over on that side. Hypothetically speaking, if we go in here, do not trigger that group. I think we slap. Press the attack. Triumph through sacrifice. Mr. Sector Friend, you see what just happened to your buddy there? Same thing's happening to you. Such a disappointment. What's over there? Apparently that position is a position from which you could shoot the objective, so let's go there. I kind of missed our opportunity to do a kill them all. See ya. Ah, well. It's fine. We'll kill them all later. Moving. So I gotta make sure that I'm not 
super focused on, on the Templar and forget about siphoning will and all that good stuff. Alright, I guess the good news is no chosen. Over here. Look at this. Well, let's go. And I'm close to activating here. Yeah. Yep. Great. I'm I'm trusting you here. What do we have? That guy? Don't have long watch or anything which we can use to to attack on the enemy turn. But shoot the device. You got five turns though. Let's not rush anything. Steady you up. Waiting. Or watches on that side. There can be no doubt. Be on your guard. Get your arse kicked by a girl. That's the combat rush kicking in for everybody. That's an easy flank. Okay, you're also activating. That's unfortunate. So we're not going to get another blade storm activation. Still fairly easily going to be able to kill everything here. Okay, so let's not forget to siphon some willpower. This may be the best idea you've ever had. Well, thank you. Send without moving? Yeah. Siphon. This may be painful. I I hmm. how do we do this? Just stand out in the open. Possibly. You're dead. Is it just me? Or is this too easy? So that guy. Put lightning hands, shadow fall. Kill the sectite first. Which, you know, maybe then gives us an, an opener here from Consumer oh. next turn with um, Kill them all. Fine. Just to conceal. Let's go. Yoink that. I might as well just move up and pick it up. Go, go, go. <clears throat> Oh, very basic.
It's kind of a shame that the sectoid stayed this far in the back. You know, it's also something to be said about just taking this. Is this, is this really going to be all now? Just another group of two sectoids and then we're done? Like, sectoid abductions... Uh, it's not really a tricky sit -rap, I think. Goes to five. Okay, we get some more stuff here. Ah, oh, that's another group in the back. The troopers and another sectoid. That's fine. We can just tuck in here. Just gotta kill that guy. Which thing? Easy way to do this. <laughs> now, since they're already active, doing anything with ambush here is not going to okay, be super great. Then you're revealed on the first one moving, and um, the others oh, can still react to, new, to you now being revealed. Go. Insectoid. If I go there, I guess it could come here. But if we flank that spot, where do I want to hide with Templar here? Could also go there. I'm sure, he can get some line of sight from somewhere there. It'll be fine. Wants to grapple. What's up? Got it. All right, double move. Okay, that's a double move to a really dumb position. That's even better. You guys really like to overwatch, eh? Them all doesn't even attack people in cover. Do we have any Overwatch runners? No, not really. Well, no, it's Inspire, not Dedication. Wrong color icon. You can break their Overwatches by, by fusing them. Bail around like that. Okay, that right. should not trigger the Overwatch. So we're just moving into vision. 
It feels that good. I guess you could just take a... ...shot at that guy, and then we still have the third guy to deal with, though. We hit the device and the two guys. Yes, okay. Look, I'm not I'm not gonna be too critical here, but the ability is called kill them all, not to leave some of them alive. So I think it's not 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 quite doing what I expected it to do. We can grapple a little closer to get less of a range penalty here. How much is actually range and how much is just yeah, 35 split side. Okay. So if we grapple over here, probably 10% or so better shot. 18% better shot. You know, going from a 20% chance to miss to a 2% chance to miss. So 10 times is good. So that last guy is overwatching somewhere back here. I'm not tile scanning for him, but I'm kind of want to just want to know where he is. Okay. Um, hope that doesn't trigger the Overwatch, and we can then just parry tank him. Looking good. Yeah, let's just parry here. If, if you say so. We confirm destruction of the relay. The alien transmission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. The enemy threatens me. Right, that's that's that. Um, we really wanted to, and I kind of actually really want to. Okay, this is going to be a little bit cheesy. Go. But I want your willpower. I got this. But I can only do it with siphon your willpower next turn. So we're going to stasis you. Assuming you're the last one. It's going to be anything else left on the map. And get both of you in range. So we can siphon next turn. And then whatever. Anyone I want to feed the kill to? Not really. I guess El Capitano could maybe get something out of this. You're probably promoting from this mission anyway.
Alright, give me the willpower. Well, you could have gotten the kill if you had tripped that. This way, yes, you're getting the kill. Whatever happens, it is going to be perfect. That was almost borderline boring. <laughs> that was they weren't even fighting back. And considering what kind of nail biter missions we had recently, like the last two, three, four missions were so incredible storms, and I'm not even sure we got a lot of upgrades, right, in terms of ranks, in terms of gear. I guess we got all the ammo now from the Proving Ground projects. If it improves morale, then I suppose there is no harm in it. I would like to assure the citizens of Advent that our peacekeepers will stop at nothing to prevent further attacks by criminal elements such as the one that occurred today. The yeah. Let's hope Shut up, go Mr. Through, Speaker. Commander. Great work. Alright. Yes, we only got one promotion out of it, but it's a psionic promotion. Again, Schism Domination Fortress. Take Domination and Fortress. Oh no, we're below 100 AP. Terrible. Not even fancy loot to look forward to. But yeah, sure force counters. Well if you come across any skilled recruits out there, we could always use the help in engineering. Okay. Um active documents also definitely got a little bit shorter that list. I still wish there was a like I remember I think it might be just in Long War that there's a, a notification of dark event expiring because I complained about it so lot, uh, um, so much. I, I was hoping that it's kind of a uh, thing that gets put into the Highlander, but I guess it's not technically a fix. Um, anyway, we could certainly do some some bond training here. Um, how about some gene modding? So we just saw that um, we get... We, we recover willpower while we're in gene modding. Corpses for death perception. Question is just if we if we give another sharpshooter death perception, should that be? I guess you're also a captain. We have a bunch of AO ranking people here. We've got majors. We've got people close to colonel. Yeah, you know, Paulo is going to be no longer tired in two hours, and then he can fully go on a mission. So, feels like there's no no point getting that I mean, a gene mod in now if we want to take advantage of the willpower recovery while they're getting gene modded. I 
And I kind of want to take advantage of that. Or maybe maybe we really just give you the, the death perception. Like the, ideally, I want to have that for many people. But it's the limiting factor is obviously the Archon corpses. Are we, let me check if there's anybody where I say, hey, let's try the Cyberlands for some, some higher hex score. Forty-nine here is the highest we have. Eh? That is that is very sad. Let me have another look through the list. If I'd known Spider Climb takes lost corpses, I'm so used to it taking chrysalid corpses in in, in Long War. I wouldn't have sold all the lost. I would not have sold all of those lost. Uh, let's just let's just wait then. I'm sure we're gonna have some tired snipers soon, and then we can throw them in there for the death perception. Well, what on retaliation? Ah, no. Ah. So I saw this sit rap on a stream the other day, and it's just, it's just, um, absurd. Massively increased will losses from damage taken, panic squad map, and the deaths of soldiers and civilians. Like, we know how Advent just slaps through the lines of the civilians and kills them all. And we have an exalt squad there that's going to just murder civilians from, from turn two on, right? Halfway across the map, very little we can do about it. This is, this is a very unfun sit trip. I don't know. <laughs> course for West Africa. It's like a lot of these sit traps are, oh, I have to play differently. Like the, the, you know, even if I don't like heavy fog, but at least it's, it changes up the way I play. This is like, oh yeah, you're going to get punished more. Anything you can do about it? No, you just just gonna lose more willpower you're gonna have people guaranteed tired and or shaken after the mission you having fun yet now okay hmm. uh anyway i guess that at least then are you but you already have death perception anyway so if you're tired after this we, we don't even gain a good good thing out of that one So what? In Fox then? Mm 
not a bad combo. Make a barracks. So people grab some weapons when they come in here. Okay, how's the willpower uh, looking? Like, we're definitely gonna need some good scouting. Let's get Reaper in here. Or Psionic. And I think we're gonna, yeah, let's get. Let's try and crump it in. And anybody you want to bond with. Chance Night Father. This is what infantry sword. Man, I, I feel I feel so bad. Like he's been so underused, but I always like I see the sword skills, and I'm like, yeah, that's that's not gonna help much. There's so many enemies just punish sword users. Okay, you are never basically a secondary psionic, so so maybe it's gotta be Joe, who's tired. Oh, great. Anyone else? on the list of potential bond mates. Right. Yeah, Yorick is on a covert action, isn't he? Yep, yep, eight more days. Okay, so we're not gonna find a bond mate for you on this mission. That's fine. Let's rather look what we don't have weapons-wise. We don't have a um, assault rifle. We don't have a shotgun user. One of those. Would go for the rockets. A little bit low on willpower here. Yeah, it's okay. Let's let's bring corrections then. I was just saying to say how I'm underutilizing him, and I'm completely ignoring that he's he's right there with the right weapon and a potential bond. Yeah, no wonder that I yeah. You're kind of underperforming. It's like you're you're unarmed. You must be armless. And that's now I'm out of what armor here. Can get one more. Uh, do we have other weapons though? We have a beam can for you. We have a sniper rifle for you. Don't have your good shadow lance. I guess not. Do 
Could have better touch mix while this thing. Yeah, let's get the superior hatchery go. Um, and I guess, yeah. You're gonna be fun with Predator, and you're gonna. Get one more ward now, then. Me, I don't, I don't have a holo target available for you. A better one. Oh, I think that's on the covert infiltration of Jason, eh? It's fine. A cheap. Alright, so we got some battle scanners, we got a bunch of med kits, we have special ammo on almost everybody. Um, we got actual shredding. How about we swap this for tracer around so you actually hit with those shredding shots? Um, yeah, we don't have anyone who can pass around the ammo, that's fine though. Maybe we get a chance for an ambush. I don't think so. On a on a retaliation, that's always going to be a little bit tricky. Maybe we can set it up against the exalt reinforcements. That would, that might work. And I'm fairly certain, even though we have some AP remaining, this is all we're saving up for the final ranks. Or are we? Care about rapid fire, so maybe we can go steadfast. It's just fancy wording to say, yeah, this is shield bearer shield with two charges instead of one. This is like this is great, you know. All props to to. I'm, I'm gonna assume that is a, a, from a mod pack from Mr. Cloyster. Mad props to really good detailed tooltips. Well, I'm not just going to be complaining if I have bad tooltips. I also have got to call out the good ones, right? And that's fantastic. Um, although it makes it it makes it sounds like the shields are going to be. Unlike the shield bearer shields or the psionic shields that we're getting, it doesn't list the duration here. How long the shields are going to be active? Just says uh, shields will collapse if the shoulder is killed. Assuming it's going to be just like uh, you know, there's a five turn cooldown, so the shields probably only last like three turns or maybe four. So you have like this one awkward turn between the cooldown coming back up and the um, and the shields being available again. Either way, we're not gonna pick up anything just now. Just gonna double check here. Yeah, here is where we want to get all the good stuff. Combat presence. Ooh, death from above. That's such a nice combo, also, right? Where we can. Get a bonus action from death from above and then use it to to combat presence somebody to take another action. Or just snapshot. Or just trigger a running gun and get a proper second sniper shot off. This is this is gonna be a huge power spike here. Anyway, for now we're gonna put a cut in here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.